Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Ghosts and Spirits Encounters video. Once again, I'm mixing another one of these in here while I'm continuing with your mysteries and disappearances suggestions. The reason why I picked this one is because the other day I did a video associated with the Hat Man. It got a good number of starting views, some good comments on there as well, good engagement. So I thought, why not share another one here? And this one I think is even more disturbing and creepier than the other one. Once again, it comes from the reddit.com website. They're from the subreddit called Shadow People. It's from a user by the name of the Demon Inside Pod, and they simply titled theirs as Hat Man. This, though, is a good way of showcasing that famous old adage, you mess with the bull, you eventually get the horns, because in this case, these users were doing something I would not advise. They did it once and twice, and then I believe a third time as well, and they end up getting some bad results from it. So let's go ahead and let's share this information here, then I'll give my own thoughts and opinions on it too. So here's what it states. The day I saw the hat man scared the living crap out of me. I was at a friend's house who said she had this entity following her from Mexico. It had been following her for over 15 years. And so we decided to turn off the lights in the apartment and see if we could bring it out. This was very skeptical. At least I was skeptical about it, but I was willing to go with it because I wanted to date her. And so we're sitting in the dark and I see a reflection on the TV screen of a black shaped mass. It kind of reminded me of Cousin It, but of course without the hat. It was now running back and forth between the shelf and the coffee table really fast. When I took my eyes off the TV screen and looked behind, it wasn't in the room. It was only on the reflection of the TV. And so it freaked me out and so we turned on the lights. I'm an idiot and said, let's do this again. So for the second time, we turned off the lights and it got a little better. Now she had to go use the restroom and she wanted me to wait outside the door. Where the bathroom was, I could see clearly to the sofa and there, at least the sofa that we were sitting on, and that sofa was next to a stereo system, but there in front of the stereo system where I had been sitting was now a six foot figure, probably taller, with a big hat and a big trench coat. It had on big work gloves, big boots, and these boots went all the way up to the knees. It was just overall a really huge guy. In the center, I could see right through him and I could see a face. It scared the living crap out of me and I basically broke down the door to get into the bathroom. So again, like an idiot, we came out of the bathroom and I turned off the lights again and sat on the sofa, this time away from the stereos and closer to the front door. Now I was staring directly to the bathroom that was in the back of the room and there was a dark shadow halfway covering the door to the bathroom and then all of a sudden, this moved. Like in other words, the shadow moved, which meant that it stood out and it was now blocking the whole cover of the door. And it came walking towards us really, really fast. So fast that I jumped back and landed on top of the sofa, right on the backrest and then towards the wall. Now this shadow man got all the way to me and bent over because he was so tall and looked me in the face. And all I saw was Actually, I don't know what I saw. It just freaked me out. Then he started backing up very slowly all the way back to the shadows and disappeared. It wasn't the only one that I wasn't the only one that saw it. A friend told me later that he had seen the very same thing. Anyone else have any experience? like this. And then that's it. That's everything associated with this story from the Demon Inside Pod. So let's talk about that here. Isn't this true? Doesn't that mean that adage, mess with the bull, get with the horns? That's what they had here. So in this case, this user, they were going out with someone and apparently that poor girl had apparently had something following her not just one, not just two, but 15 years. It was a hat man that was following her and it went from Mexico all the way over to their new residence. How freaky is that? How terrifying the idea that something can follow them for so long and at such a great distance. But they're right. Like idiots, they decided to actually try to lure it out. Why would you do that? Why on earth would you do something involving bringing out what is considered a very, very bad thing? Who knows why they decided to do it? 
He said because he wanted to date her and she was wanting to just, I guess, bring it out on her own. But he should have been more responsible and obviously told her, hey, that's a bad idea. And sure enough, it ended up being because one, they saw it in the reflection. That's creepy stuff right off the bat. When something is showing on a reflection and then you look in the area where they're supposed to be at and it's not there. Um, that's a big no for me. I'm pretty much out of there at that point. But they decided to do it yet again. And then finally, a third time. And then that's when this thing essentially went right up over to that user, bent down, stared right at them. And they were so scared, they didn't have any idea essentially what made up its face. And then it decided to leave. It made its presence known with a vengeance. Also, that was really creepy whenever this shadow man, this hat man, was essentially there looking at them from, I guess that sofa, I got the impression that it was sitting down on it, like almost casually, because in the center of it was a second face, like this other face was just staring right at them. I'd be gone at that point. I would be telling that girl, um, by like when it comes to that, because at this point, this is going to a whole other level, but still they decided to try it again. And so very bad ideas. There's no conclusion associated with this. What happened afterward? Did the shadow man of person hat man decide to stay afterward? Have they gone out never to be seen again? Who knows? But considering the actual um, risk that they took in terms of luring it out and it responding in some form of vengeance, that's not really good on there. But let me know what you guys and gals think as far as this strange and creepy and almost like a warning type encounter. All right, everybody. Thanks again as always. Take care. Bye.